Hello friends. Welcome to time series tutorial. We will revise the entire process of time series analysis that we discussed in our sessions. The dataset has 500 data points with serial number, years, quarters, and sales. When we plot the sales data using a line chart, we can clearly see a long-term trend, seasonal variations, and cyclical fluctuations. We will, first of all, derive the trend line. Since the graph presents a business cycle, a polynomial trend will fit it best. To find a suitable order of the polynomial equation, we need help from Excel. Let's ask Excel to fit a polynomial trend line on the series and align it the best we could by changing order of the equation. We can see that order 3 offers the best fitting polynomial line without adding too much to the computation overhead. To derive the coefficients of the trend line with order 3, we use linest function. To use it we select 4 cells, and in active cell we type the function with suitable parameters, and we press Ctrl, Shift, Enter keys. This returns us the trend line equation. The next step will be to estimate values using this trend equation. The equation returns three beta coefficients and one intercept. The highest order beta coefficient is written first. We multiply the beta coefficients with serial number, the time point, with a power according to the order. Finally we add the intercept, 249.8519, and we get estimate for the respective time point. On plotting the estimated value, we can see the orange line mimicking the red polynomial trend we saw before. Next step is to find seasonal indexes for the four quarters.
For seasonal indexes, first we calculate quarter-wise moving averages for all years. Next, we find average of every two averages to center them. Third step is to take ratios of the actual sales from the centered averages. And finally, using the ratios, we calculate quarter-wise indexes by taking conditional averages of the ratios. Once we have all seasonal indexes, we apply respective index to our trend value. This will apply the seasonality effect to the trend estimate, and will bring it closer to the actual value. So the final step is to multiply the trend estimate value with respective seasonal index. Let's do it, and plot the final graph to check the results. Now, the difference you see between the gray line that depicts estimated values and the blue line of actual values is because of irregularities. In real life, there are many factors that affect the movement of a variable. In time series analysis, we consider only time as the impacting factor. And so there remains a difference between the estimated and actual value. So this was the revision of time series analysis. Download the Excel file in the description. Subscribe and like the video.